How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Joining me and Poppy again from another overnight camp. She's down here just having a little nap. <laughs> and yeah, we got in the forest quite late today so I've been um, trying to get things sorted and, and set up properly before um, I did any talking to you guys. But everything's done now, I can just relax and uh, chill out for a little bit. Uh, but tonight I'm doing some ground dwelling and I've got my tarp set up as in a plough point configuration. And actually when I set this up earlier on, uh, the wind picked up and actually ripped some of my tent stakes out of the ground. I've just been using small um, six inch aluminium tent spikes, which I normally carry with me uh, on, on most trips. Um, but this ground is not good enough holding them in position, so I had to go and make some longer uh, stakes with uh, some, some branches I found nearby. And uh, yeah, everything's been nice and secure since, so pretty happy with the setup. The ground probably isn't the flattest, to be honest, where I am, but and there's actually quite a, a bit of a divot where I'm sat at the minute, but um, when I'm laid in it, it's, pretty quite, it's quite comfortable actually. And it's probably the best I could find in this area, so it'll do for, for tonight anyway. And yeah, I've got the ground sheet down in here. I've got my bivy bag, and in there I've got my Thermarest air mat. Um, I've got my sleeping bag, and so the, the bivy bag is mainly just to keep uh, my gear nice and dry and, uh, and clean from Poppy climbing on it. And I've also got Poppy's uh, dog bed here as well. So we should be comfortable, uh, nice and warm tonight. So I've just been around and collected all my uh, firewood. And uh, got that processed up. I just used my uh, silky saw and my Mor Garberg knife again. And I just made some curls there to um, to get the fire going. Hopefully with some some tinder. I've got my tinder bag um, later on when we start uh, get the stove lit. But yeah, I am using my uh, titanium stove as well again tonight, just because this forest is quite overgrown where I am, uh, and there isn't uh, many rocks around to have a to have a safe open fire. So uh, it gets dark quite early still, and I wanted to to have a say, fire for a good few hours tonight. So. I thought it would be a good opportunity just to bring the stove again, have a nice contained fire and uh, obviously keep warm by that for, for a few hours tonight. But yeah, I've got some food to cook up as well and a nice beer to have as well tonight, so I'm looking forward to it. But see, it is quite early to, to light the stove at the minute, so I'm just going to ch chill out here with Poppy, uh, relax for a little bit under the tarp and uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back later this evening when we're ready to, to uh, get the stove lit and start cooking some tea.
So me and Poppy finished our tea a little while back. I've uh, just been sat in camp relaxing for a little bit. Tonight I just cooked up some sausages using my titanium frying pan. And I had four of them and I give Poppy two. And then uh, mix that in with the dog food for her. And she's just behind me now on a bed, just relaxing. And I've just been sat next to her for a little while, just uh, enjoying my beer. So cheers to everyone who's watching. Just been sat enjoying that. And uh, the stove has gone out now. I decided just to let it die out after cooking my tea. Because it's still quite light and I didn't want to waste too much of my wood. Um, uh, I wanted to save it for, for tonight. Um, so I will relight that in a minute after I finish speaking to you guys because it is quite dark now. But yeah, I've just been sat in camp relaxing for a little bit. Uh, I am going to probably just uh, turn the camera off shortly and uh, spend the night just relaxing and copy and uh, probably listen to a podcast or uh, read a book or something. But yeah, to get the fire going tonight, I obviously uh, made some shavings up and all that good stuff. But in my tinder bag, I actually had some homemade fat rope, which was recently sent to me by Andy over at Rusty and the Woodsman. I'll put links to his uh, YouTube channel and Instagram in, in my um, video description. So if you don't know Andy, go, go and check his uh, stuff out. He's uh, got some great content. And he was uh, kind enough to send me that, um, say a while back actually. And um, first time, chance of getting out on a trip. And it worked really well, Andy. So if you're watching, uh, thanks a lot, mate. I just cut a small section of the fat rope off, teased some of the fibres out with my knife and uh, yeah, took a spark off the ferro rod fairly easily and burnt for quite a while to get the fire nice and established in the stove. So yeah, really happy with that. And yeah, it has just been a nice evening actually out here, just relaxing. Plenty of uh, life in the forest now at the minute, hear the birds and that sort of thing. And hopefully we'll hear those in the morning as well. Because um, the days are getting longer and it's a good sign that uh, spring's on the way. I think that's pretty much it for me tonight. I'm just going to say I am just going to chill out now and enjoy the evening and I'll uh, catch up with you guys nice and early in the morning. Good morning everyone, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night considering how uneven the ground is Fairly comfortable to be honest and uh, yeah, kept really warm as well, which is good A little bit of condensation under the tarp this morning I noticed uh, But yeah, it didn't drip on us during the night which is nice and um, yeah, I think it rained a little bit as well during the night And we kept nice and protected under here, so yeah, overall a pretty, pretty decent night's sleep and uh, fairly comfortable I had the stove on the go last night till about midnight uh, and then let it die down and uh, obviously it's nice and cold this morning, ready to, to be packed away. I don't want to relight it, just for the simple fact that um, yeah, I don't have to wait around for it to cool down and uh, fucking pack it away again. And I have got a bit, bit of wood left, but I'll just probably stash that somewhere for, for next time I'm up here. Uh, but this morning I'm just going to use my small uh, BCB stove, which you've seen me use a few times on the channel. Uh, one of the main reasons I like using this over my gas canister stove is it's uh, this is silent and. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be able to use that this morning and uh, still be able to enjoy the sounds of the forest. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty cold in the hands this morning, uh, for setting the camera up and that sort of thing. So I am itching to get a nice warm cup of coffee, uh, make some breakfast as well. So I'm just going to boil some water for, for an instant coffee and some instant oats. Uh, relax and enjoy that for a little while and then uh, we start thinking about packing camp up before uh, we have to leave.
So I'm not sure if the audio picked it up on the on the microphone, um, but there's a woodpecker not too far away from camp. I couldn't actually see where it was, so I couldn't get any camera footage of it, but yeah, I definitely heard it and it was nice to listen to uh, while I was making breakfast this morning. I haven't heard it for a little while, so it must have, must have flown off to a different tree. Um, but yeah, and there's a lot of other bird sounds around and yeah, it's been pretty peaceful and nice just to, to sit and enjoy breakfast, listen to it all this morning. But yeah, the day's getting on a little bit now, so I need to start packing up camp, get everything uh, in my backpack and squared away and make sure I've left no rubbish lying around and uh, that sort of thing. So I'm going to do that now, get sorted, uh, I'll bring you guys back just as I'm about ready to, to hike out of here. That's me and Poppy all packed up, ready to go. She's got a harness back on, and on one side of there I've got a coat, and the other side where a dog food and treats and that normally are, which she's eaten last night and this morning. I've put some rubbish and a few of my bits in there just to help uh, balance it back out for her when we're hiking out of here. My backpack's all loaded just behind the camera there, ready to, to put my back uh, when we start hiking out of here in a second. But yeah, I just wanted to finish the video off by saying thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, me and Poppy had a pretty good night's sleep last night, and uh, I was really happy with how I managed to make things work, considering it's quite overgrown in here and um, the ground isn't the flattest. We still had a fairly comfortable camp. But yeah, if you did like the uh, video, then uh, please give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, any questions, let me know below, and I'll uh, get me, try my best to get back to you the best I can. Or if you do the channel and you like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button, uh, and don't forget to click on the bell notification for future videos that I post. But yeah, that's it from us for this time round. Just want to say thanks again, and we both hope to see you on the next video.